What is up everybody and welcome to game 109 of Let's Play League Champion. For today's game, I'm going to be playing as Fist in the Middle versus a Anivia, I believe. Yeah. So anyways, uh, Fizz. Uh, the reason why I'm playing Fizz is because it was actually requested quite a while ago and I did see a uh, random resurgence of Fizz in the Middle in like my past solo queue games, so I thought, you know, why not? And well, um, I've never been too much of a big Fizz player. I do randomly play him every now and then when I see like the enemy team first picks TF or something like really early. And then I'm like, okay, I'll pick Fizz into that because I know that, you know, after playing a lot of Twisted Fate versus Fizz games, I know exactly like what the best Fizz Fizzes ever did to me and like I can just replicate that while playing Fizz myself. But I will admit, I am not that experienced with Fizz, but I have been trying, you know, to play this champion a little bit more to see, you know, the things I could probably pull off and uh, which I probably couldn't do like before so uh, yeah uh, I did actually hear a very very long time ago that when people would like try to counter Anivia Fizz would actually be like one of the most uh, popular picks into it because apparently Fizz just completely counters Anivia so I guess this game I will actually get to see that for myself because uh, I don't really get to meet Anivia too often and even if I had to meet Anivia, I don't think I would like just go ahead and pick Fizz. Although I do feel like almost everybody like in the middling community agrees that Fizz can like take on Anivia easily. But in my opinion, if an Anivia is played properly, she can almost never die in lane. Even if like you actually do kill her, usually it will be under a turret and her passive light goes off. Okay, are we gonna go in then? Or what's going on here? Okay, we're gonna slowly find them. Oh, we do not get anything here. We get completely destroyed. Damn. Well, I guess we're just gonna take this little thing here. Oh! Ouch! Okay, I need to go back already because I'm just gonna die to uh, being low health. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna have any of that. I, I really don't want to use like the, the early parts of my flask to just... Oh god, okay. That was probably not worth it, but yeah, I hope I'll make it back to lane. Damn, I didn't even fully heal myself by doing that way. Oh, Anivia, no TP. Okay, that's actually pretty good then. Uh, having Anivia's TP down already, it means that if I can somehow force him back out of lane, uh, that's like really good actually. So I'm kind of surprised he decided to use his TP. Okay, I did take some damage though. Didn't want to like brush it off with my flask, so I decided to just go back to base as soon as possible. So, anyways, uh, mid lane um, assassination or mid lane ass assassin play. Uh, just like what said, you don't want to play to like uh, get harassed in the very first few levels of the lane. You want to just be careful and try to take as minimal damage as possible. Like you want, I really want to save up these uh, flash charges until like a moment where you can be offensive and also defensive at the same time. So you're like healing off damage that you're just taking and also dealing more damage thanks to the you know the passive that the potion has. Okay, can I get this? Aw oh, damn, not enough attack speed. Probably gonna be able to get these either. Damn okay, I missed everything there, this sucks. Okay, got that one. We're gonna get this one. Oh no, are you kidding me right now? I'm like fully pushed in here. Um Okay, so Skarner is on the right side. I don't know if Anivia knows this yet. Okay, okay, slow him. Pop my flask. Anivia panics. Okay, Anivia no F. Gotta type that out. Get this minion. There we go. So mid lane. Oh, Anivia still here. Okay, with that low health, I might actually just go aggro on the Anivia. Uh, get this minion. Maybe we'll think twice about pushing me in like that. I was kind of lucky that Scarner did actually decide to go for an early gank. Okay. Can't do anything there. I thought maybe we could jump on her, but she backed out immediately. I'm trying to like anticipate on Navia's cues still so I can like jump over them with my E spell and like just jump on her. But uh yeah. It's not happening. Like she's really saving her Q spell I've noticed so far. Mm, nice, another level. This minion, sidestep the Q. No need for the E spell, just jet, just push her in with this huge wave of minions. Yes, she misses some minions. Okay, uh, this is gonna give me enough time to actually roam bot lane, so I'll try to go for a quick roam to bot. This is the best part if you can like get an early push going on. Like you can just really surprise lanes on the side. I like, don't think that you like gone back to base. 
but you're actually gonna be there so here we go that's some aggression okay nice okay okay let's not get too much hurt there wow graves 80 carry i do not see that very often at all kind of surprised to see it actually so anyways Rome to Valen is successful. Uh, and then you're getting pushed in like that did actually pay off. It meant that I could get this Sheen. Nice. So also get the pink ward. Nice. Let's go towards the middle. Skarner is covering. Perfect. Um, who was that top lane? That was Nocturne. Noc top. Gotta tell that to uh, bot lane in case they're like scared of the jungler. <laughs> He's probably around red buff or something. Okay, Valen is safe. They're just going back now. Anyways, that's great. We did actually get the flash of the Karma there. I'm very surprised that Graves didn't use his heal on Karma. Maybe he used it before already, but I, I doubt it. I, I felt like, you know, Graves was going to end up saving the Karma with heal, but he didn't. So it was like really, really strange. I don't know. This, and let's get that. Okay, let's just get this minion low. Come on, minion. Take some damage already. There we go. Put another point into the E spell. Anivis uses to farm with Q. Not very efficient, but I guess this is just because Anivis is kind of scared that, you know, if she gets too close, I'll just go aggro on her, which I guess is something I will do, actually. And considering I do have a Sheen now, I will actually hurt her quite a bit. And she didn't exactly come back to lane with, like, really strong items. She only got, like, a, a, a tear and, uh, what's it called? The Fairy Charm. Anivia does also have teleports, like she doesn't have like a second like summoner spell that can be used offensive or defensive defensively, so yeah, she's gotta be more on the watch out than I have to. Cause I pretty much know what she can use against me, and that's like her Q and E. That's all she can use against me. I guess there is also the the, the ice wall. Okay, Nocturne uses ultimate, it is definitely not middle. I see it's bot lane. Let's just go ham on this Anivia here. Wow, really? She hit 6 before me, that's kinda irritating to be honest. But I guess it makes sense, like, she stayed in lane longer than me. But I will hit 6 very soon myself, so, yeah. And she does not have flash, so I should be able, okay, with Nocturne being in bottom like that. Okay, so let's just do the ultimate pass over a little bit. There, okay, she throws another Q. Playing very safely, trying to play it as a, like the very maximum distance. But wow, I'm actually winning. Even though she technically is ahead in experience, like I'm ahead by in gold by a lot. So like I don't mind this at all. Um, now the mini wave is kind of like in front of my turret, which is like kind of ideal. But Anivia is missing, so she could be doing anything right now. But I doubt she's actually trying to pull off a roam. Uh oh, Nardis isn't having too much of a good time versus the Fiora. Or the other way around, Fiora isn't having a very good time versus Nara, sorry. Um, yeah. Okay, let's be careful. Let's get this minion. Let's get this. Let's put the pink ward in this brush. There is no ward, so they don't know that I'm heading to bot lane too. Uh, maybe we can do like a dive. Okay, Skarner, Flash ults. I'm gonna try and go for a dive here. They might just end up catching him. Okay, nice. Um, okay, I get the karma. Okay, get exhausted. Nice. We kill her. But, uh, <laughs> it comes at the price of, uh, Nami dying. Rip, Blade Gamer. Okay, anyways, we should be able to go back for, for this. I did get some gold. That was pretty decent. Okay, see ya. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. We probably should turn because we're gonna eat, like, a Nivea wall soon. No, we're fine, we're fine. Whoa, okay. Flash the Nivea wall. Pretty crazy stuff. Okay, we don't have to turn around. Let's go back to base. And the minions are gonna hit the tower. Okay. Wow. Is any really gonna stay? I don't think she should. This is like she doesn't have the mana for it. I really didn't wanna miss on these minions. I mean, if an is gonna stay in this lane, like uh oh. Okay, I'm fine. Uh I don't agree with that. Nami heal, but whatever. I was just gonna go back to base anyway, so I felt like it was just wasted mana. Okay. There's Karma. Okay. Nami's on her own in return now. Rip. Uh, let's get this. Let's get this. Nice. That's actually really good uh, back. Almost got the partial Lich Bane ready. Mm, 
gonna start going towards middle. Nar was actually middle for a while. Mm -hmm. mm. So far though, every time I've gone bot lane, it's been a kill, so I feel like that's a really nice trend, but... Mm. Nar is kinda strong. I'm not too scared of Nar. It's just, you know... It's kinda something you have to take into account in future fights, like Nar is gonna probably be really tanky. Steve, you want blue? Yeah, but I'm pushed. Uh oh, that's Nocturne. Enemy has been slain. What? Oh, that was top lane. What? Where's Nocturne? Oh, he's top lane. Okay, so I'm guessing his ult was really late or something? Okay, uh, Anivia is missing. I'm gonna head towards top lane slowly, put a ward here in case Anivia is chasing as well. Nocturne has no escape, he's stuck between Fiora and Skarner. Nice. Okay, let's shove out middle. Oh, dude. I think he's just gonna perma push with her blue buff up. I need to, like, keep uh, holding these minion ways back. There we go. Hit this. And. Wow, that really hit me at the tip, please. Maybe I can ult her. Yeah, sure, you can. Okay. I see. Scarlet was getting rid of a warder, that's why. And if you stayed back the whole time. Let's just shove this out. Keep hitting my e-spell on the minions. It is kind of risky to use your e-spell right in front of your opponent because they will know it's on cooldown, right? Usually you want to use the e-spell to actually avoid big spells. Oh, Scar is not trying to give me the blue? Damn, and I just de-pushed his wave. Okay, he's gonna go for the for the Nar, I guess. Um, is he actually able to do that? No, he's not. Oh, there is the... Oh, Anivia used teleporter to bot, I see. That is unfortunate. I need no TP. Uh, let's go ahead and push this. Hit this, hit this. And hit these minions. Oh, what? My Q was enough cooldown yet. Damn it. Okay, let's go back to base now. Uh, wait, can I actually get anything? Yes, if I just wait 10 more gold. Or, yeah, 15 gold, I can actually get the Lich Bane. So let's just wait in base for a little bit longer. And look at what's going on bot lane. It seems like the top laners decided to win the brush for a while. I do have my Lich Bane now, so let's just move towards middle. Go, go, go. So with the Lich Bane, it does give you CDR. It does give you uh, ability power. Your next auto attack spell, or your next auto attack after using a spell is also empowered with more magic damage, which is, you know, more burst. And you do have a little bit more of a mana pool. It's it's a really nice first item to rush, but sometimes you you only like can do with like getting the sheen and then just getting whatever item afterwards, like Sony's Eyeglass or uh, Abyssal Scepter. But if you do have the money to just finish off the, the Lich Bane, like it's sometimes it's just really worth it. It's just you're really left vulnerable for a melee champion to use buy a Lich Bane straight out without like buying like the tanky AP items, which is very like um, important at certain points as a. Uh, as a mid laner, because you're gonna be eating a lot of damage in fist if you don't have like a Missile Scepter or Sony's Eyeglass as one of your first items. But you definitely want to get the Sheen at least, like ASAP. But sometimes you can't do it because, you know, you have used a really bad laning phase or something. Okay. And if you spotted my pink ward, finally. Kinda wanna contest it. Not sure how worth it's gonna be. Okay, we're going for it. Hit my, my Sharky. Okay, just wanna hit her for extra damage? Okay. Okay, he's still dead. Nice. Uh, I wanna Q to a minion? I don't have to. Down. I really wanted to touch the Anivia, but that wall really trolled things up. Um, okay, we still managed to get the the Nocturne though with my uh, with just my spells, so it was good still. Okay, oh, hang on. Karma is still around middle. That is really irritating. Are we gonna catch her? Okay, she gets perma slowed by this partner thing. She gets ulted. Got rooted though. Nice. Oh my god, I couldn't jump over that wall. It was too thick, damn it. I will admit I haven't tried jumping over that wall too often, but it was too late. I wouldn't have gotten the kill anyway, even if I managed to jump over the wall. Okay, maybe still missing. Set the W here. Wow. Okay. It hit him a little bit sooner then to get the minions. There we go. Okay, so I might have to actually go top lane right now. That Nar is like spiraling out of control a little bit. 
Got that. Hit this, hit that, and get this. Nice. Um, I should be able to get my CDR shoes this way. I'm really delaying like the defensive items, but CDR shoes is really good. CDR and fist is just really good in general. Being able to jump around a lot is like pretty crazy. You can solo blue. I clear the small ones. That's very nice. But I have a bigger problem, and it's that my opponent mid laner is freaking at Nivea, and she's gone to the point where she's chubs the entire way with like ultimate and some spells. So, yeah. I'm not really gonna be having too much fun trying to uh, catch up in pushing. Because there's no way I'm gonna be able to match that push with my E spell. I do not have enough AP to use clear entire mini wave. Okay, let's start heading towards bot lane. I, I really don't care for blue buff. I just want to make sure that, you know, my team... Oh! Okay, I ate that, but it didn't really do too much damage to me. Let's put a blue trinket here. Okay, they don't have a pink ward yet. Uh, Nocturne is slowly heading towards middle. I can take that as a sign as um, he's trying to ult me. I can easily see that. Okay, enemy just shoves me. We can 2v2 if he ults mid. Yeah, I'm not too... Too worried about it to be honest. I'll just E out if nothing goes in on me. Okay, what is this? Let's just hit this E here. Oh, damn it! I thought it would actually kill those minions, whatever. Okay, I finally pushed into Nivea for once. Uh, maybe I'll have actually enough time to do my blue buff. Will this be the first blue buff of my game? Uh oh, what's going on, Balin? Nice. Got it. Got the blue buff. Okay. Almost a CDR cap right now. Let's go to the middle. Uh oh. That is, that's that gotta be bot lane, right? I think so. Or? What? Oh, it was top lane. Damn. And the Nocturne actually died. I gotta ping out the fact that Anivia is missing from lane. No. 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 Oh my god. I thought I auto attacked that one. Come on. Auto attack just didn't register fast enough. Um, let's just push out this lane. I freaking blue buff. I can just really use my uh, E spell as much as I like. And my other spells too, of course. Got that. Okay. Let's head towards bot lane, I guess? Let's put a blue trinket around blue buff brush. There's nothing. Okay. So far, I haven't really been able to kill the Nivea, which is actually really irritating. She's just been playing really, really defensively. And yeah, I've just been pushed out basically the whole time. Mm, uh huh. Okay, tried to predict my pattern of movement, but you know, was this spell is really slow, the Q spell, so like, <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. Nice, they end up killing the Grace for free in bottling. Good job, team. Let's get this minion. Oh my god, the freaking E spell, or the ultimate of Anivia is annoying as hell. It's like so much damage, even though it's like technically a dot. Um, okay, she throws out her Q, she ults, and it's also the Death Fire Touch, it, like it adds up in damage. Thank god Death Fire Touch was nerfed. Imagine how it would be like unnerfed state Death Fire Touch in Anivio, would be like really hellacious. Nice, team is doing work in bot. Very nice, okay. Hero comebacks from zero to hero. <laughs> Literally. Alright. Anyways, I do have to deal with this damn bird. I feel like I'm doing something wrong in this lane. Okay, let's try to be a little bit. Ag no, actually. I don't think it can be aggress aggressive in this lane until uh, I have like at least the parts for um, Abyssal Scepter. Yeah. Because I think she will just blow me up at this point when I don't really have like much uh, defensive stats. I'm literally just relying on damage if I go on her, and she's already got like a rod of ages and her passive, not to mention. Um, no, I don't think we can do that. Oh well, that was a really premature W, Harry. Okay, here comes this guard though. No, okay, not enough looping ganks to <laughs> catch Nivia off guard. Whew! Okay, wow. <laughs> I knew you popped a Q really early. Um, I don't want to take any extra damage here. Uh oh, that's three people mid. 
Okay, hang on. I might take some damage here, actually. What is going on? Wow, okay. Nearly. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the hell out now. I have like 2,000 gold. I need to use this money. Nice. What? Oh my god. Nocturne actually hit his Q on me. That is really irritating. I'm just gonna walk back the entire way. Screw this. <laughs> wow, that's really annoying. Okay, so let's see. Uh, magic damage, magic damage. These are all physical. I don't actually think it's worth going Abyssal Scepter, but... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be facing Anivia that much right now. So, I'll, I guess I'll just go for the parts for, uh... Sony's Hourglass in the end. <laughs> it, it is more damage to get these things. It's just... Abyssal Scepter would have been better from a 1v1 perspective. Rest in peace, Fiora. Okay, so that is for people middle. But I did just get stronger, so... Maybe things will be better? Oh, come on. He actually sh shielded my thing. Okay, let's just go ham. Oh, please! No! Oh my god! I thought I pressed Q on this menu so I would fly this way! Oh my god, that was a huge mistake! Holy crap, dying like that was so bad for me. Oh my god, that was epic bad. That was extremely bad. Holy crap, what is wrong with me? That that should never happen. That really should never happen. Oh my god, the fact that it happened though is just, oh my god, my mental is broken. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, it's just, uh oh. Oh, uh, she could have saved the parry for the moment the fear triggered off Nocturne. Okay, let's just wait here for like 15 gold to get like the Seekers on guard. I'll just watch them like contest my blue in the meantime. Okay, wow. Fear actually deals quite a bit of damage at the moment. Let's get the Seekers. Nice. Blue is untouched. Or not untouched, but like they don't take it. That's what matters. Uh, Dragon is up though, we should probably try and contest that, so I'm gonna start pinging it so that, you know, people realize that's a point of interest right now and you sh guys should probably be around it. Uh, let's put a blue trinket just over the the entrance so that we can actually see if someone's trying to do anything to it. Okay, um, Nivia tries to do stuff and successfully blocks me off for a little bit. And she's dead. Nice. Okay, I can see why Fizz is like the Anivia killer. I like I don't even have any defensive stats, I just completely blow her up once her passive is down. Holy crap, that was like super easy. Okay. Um Let's go towards his graves. Hello Oh Nocturne's probably yeah, he's trying to do something. Whatever. I scared the graves away from trying to steal this, so that's cool. Let's push out mid lane and get this tower. They got my freaking middle tower. We should get theirs. Here we go. Yes, got the siege. Oh god, and then Fiora took all the tree minions. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Don't want to take tower damage. Screw you, tower range. Oh, here comes the Nivia. What is this? What is this? Okay, that's Nocturne dead. Gonna ignite. Dodge some spells. No, oh, are you kidding me right now? Where's my team? Where's our bot lane? I'm just kidding. It's our fault. We just greed lorded for no reason. We didn't have to. I just felt like maybe that was a free fight, but like we actually did uh, make them use a bunch of summoner spells, so it might still be worth it in the end, but it was definitely not a risk we should have taken in the first place. I just decided to fall for it. Now I have Sony's Hourglass though. If I had Sony's Hourglass when I did that, that would have actually been just fine because then I wouldn't have gotten like damage when Karma would have uh, when Karma snared me down. Uh oh, nice. Nora actually misses the the ult, but the Lucian kind of flashes a little bit later anyway. <laughs> oh, that should be Nora dead. That's a mistake jump. Oh wait, what? They don't kill the Nor? Wow, no punishment. What is this? Oh wow. Karma's still chasing. I don't think that's very smart. I might actually end up ki No, turn around, turn around, dude. Karma's in this... Oh, wait. Okay. Anivia was still there. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Feeding time. Indeed. What? Oh, okay. Death fire touch thing. What is it called? Yeah, death fire touch. Damn. That actually killed a Fiora. 
stupid ass spell. Or Keystone Mastery, rather. It's not a spell. Get this. I am getting strong, though. That is cool. Mm, let's pop my elixir, actually. And let's actually get this damn tower. It's been standing way too long. Freaking Anivia taking cover behind this all the time. Wow, he got way too close to me. Oh my god, okay. Hang on, I got this. Look, Sunny's Hourglass. They don't get feared at all, it's fine. I thought Nocturne would just like immediately ult me there, so I was kinda, you know, paranoid. Uh oh! We're getting like a chase on. I don't know why Nami walked into that. Okay. Me walking towards Karma did make her back out though. Okay, my ultimate is ready again. Um, kinda use one I like. Okay, hang on, let's do this. Oh god, please! No! Are you kidding? Oh wait, hang on. Oh, the E spell. I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. Like, I'm gonna die if I stick around. Okay, they get a Nivea. It's fine. It's fine. Get away doing the bullshit that Fizz always does. Uh, why is Skarner tanking in the turret? This is not very smart. You should have gotten out of the turret range at least before going back in. Uh, yeah, he dies. I'm not surprised at all. Oh my god, is Karma gonna like get a triple? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. Okay, that's the bubble. Um, okay, hang on. Okay, got her at least. Or him rather, it was a Nocturne. Oh, hang on. He's gonna turn into Meganar soon. Just get out! Wait, hit him with ultimate? Uh, I kinda wanted to go back in, but okay. Pure's here now, so it's fine. Oh, avoid the stun completely with my E. Nice. Okay, all is good in the hood. This game is pretty much in the bag, even though like it is not that... Uh, we don't have too much of a differing score. Hit this. And do this. Get this thing low. Okay, nice. How strong is Anivia? She's gonna want to get rid of this. Wow. She must have known I was here. Otherwise, this move doesn't make any sense. Okay. Okay, and there we go. Oh my god, I knew that was gonna hurt because I don't have Abyssal Scepter. Wow, I can auto attack over the Nivia wall. Sweet. Okay, I'm just gonna go back now. This is crazy if I decide to stare. So, um, yeah, I went for an easy large rod. I guess I'm gonna go for a death cap. I feel like that's really risky and I should have gone for Abyssal Scepter, but whatever. I'm already, like, on the way of creating that item, so why not? Um, I'll keep this. Let's go towards the blue buff, I guess. Kind of need that for the extra CDR. So let's move towards it. I'll look, I'll look in the middle in the meantime in case like they suddenly need me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's move, move, move. Um. Okay. I hope that Nocturne doesn't like suddenly get vision in the in the blue buff. Yes, I really just want to take this without any struggles, please. Okay, I got it. Nice. Let's just kill. Whoa! Are you kidding me? I just got spotted. Hang on. Okay. It's just the support AP support item actually hit me, so I thought maybe they were like trying to ambush me. Okay, Illusion's ultimate is used for wave clear. Okay, hang on. Oh, it hits Anivia? Okay, she actually flashes away. Get an easy kill on Graves that gets ulted by Skarner. And then we kill the Nocturne. Use Q here. E out of the tower shot. Nice. Okay, let's just pop all of my flash charges and anticipate what's gonna happen next. Okay, that's Karma's ultimate on cooldown. And we should probably just get the tower here. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, that's so annoying. The Q of Fist isn't like, uh, you can't, you, it's not like a, what's it called? A spell that cannot miss anymore. So like when people jump away, you just see dash towards them, they will actually dodge it. Okay, there we go. Nice. I got some of glass, so I'm not actually too scared about being stuck over the wall. Actually, this is like... This is actually a chance to like make them get greedy. Okay, whatever. I'll just jump over. Whatever. <laughs> I could have jumped over a long time ago. Oh, nice. Blue buff. Oh, these mother... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let's go ahead and get the dragon. It should be pretty free. Boom. There we go. Get it. Nice, okay, let's turn. Uh oh, that Lucian was getting dangerously low. E over. Get. Ult. 
Ah, uh, this is probably a little bit overkill. Damn. How did Grace live for that long? Oh, he's got Death's Dance. Wow, this was actually really unexpected. Death's Dance actually reduces the damage taken because it makes 15% of the damage taken uh, done over time. So, like, it's not immediate. So, like, burst damage actually gets cut off because of this item. And also, of course, he had a Hex Drinker. So, like, yeah, these two items together means that, you know, uh, Magic Burst is really not gonna happen too quickly on someone like this guy. Damn. That actually caught me, caught me off guard. That sucks. Uh, can't get my Def Cap now, though. So, hopefully, that will not really be a problem next time. Have 444 APs, which means that my Q hits for 220? Yeah, 225. W hits for whoa. It's actually quite a lot. Uh, the passive damage and the the active is also pretty. Quite a lot too. And what about the E spell? Yeah, the E spell always hits the hardest, like 500 in AOE and the ultimate, of course. Yeah, 700 damage on his own, and like not to mention the ultimate increases all of your like magic damage. So all these other spells hit for even harder. And not to mention the Lich Bane is now giving me 300 magic damage on each auto attack. It's a lot of magic damage in, in one second if you have them ulted up. So that's pretty cool. Oh wait a minute, does ultimate th does the damage modifier work on the Corrupting Potion uh, dots? I'm guessing it would. Wow, I really hate that. I hate this game. Um, okay, so Niv uh, Nami kind of getting caught out here. Okay, lunchtime. Um... Okay, so his eyeglass. No, really? Oh, I'm dead. Dead in peace. Where did the entire team go here? Uh, it looks like they were m mostly pushing bot, and I guess Fiora died to somebody. I'm not sure who. Uh oh. Well, I hope this push was worth it. We're gonna lose the middle second tier tower as well. Yeah, it's lost as well. Nice, quick catch on the Karma. That's kind of annoying though, but yeah, Karma did use it already nice as well, which I think was a little bit overkill. I guess I just got too cocky, basically. Yeah. Let's also get mag resistance, I kind of needed that. Yeah. Oh, look, a ward. That's actually being spotted by the turret suspicion, but nobody's going back for it. Guess everyone wants to be affected with their time. Okay. Anyways, let's hope that's my last death because I swear to god if I die again I'm gonna start tilting. <laughs> no 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 I'm kidding. But like yeah, I, I really dislike it when I get over three deaths in a game and even more so when I get over four deaths. So let's hope it does not happen here. Because I'm not playing a tank, I should not be trying to get myself into situations where I'm gonna kill myself. Unless it means that I'm gonna get like a two for one, then it's like worth to to go for like suicidal runs almost. Okay. No way! Oh wait, it hits! Are you kidding me right now? Are you really kidding me? He's dead. Whoa! Okay, hang on. Oh! Oh wait! Oh my damage doesn't go- Oh, it still goes off, but damn. Whatever. Whatever. I think that might have been worth it. I think that still might have been worth it. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I might have been worth it. <laughs> um... Let's go, go for a Negatron Cloak, and yeah, let's hope that never happens again. Whoa! Barely survives. What's going on here? <laughs> Graves didn't go afterwards. HP? Well, to be honest, Graves. <laughs> Full HP. To be honest, Graves, like, if you're gonna start building, like, I don't know, stuff like Mom Mom Marches, like, don't expect to win, like, 1v1s against an AD carry that has been, like, fully building, like, single target damage, pretty much. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, let's go to middle and do something, because I feel like I'm gonna just start doing a bunch of mistakes now. This is the part of, about Fist where, like, I seem to fail the most, which is, like, past laning phase. After, like, the, they kind of, like, the... After mid game's over and like you know people start grouping up and stuff because Fizz is an assassin and technically he needs his people to you know make the enemy team burn up all of their cooldowns. I was trying to catch out the Anivia there, but the Sony Dragonlance really did like uh, waste my time. So it was actually really annoying when Nocturne just showed himself and yeah was kind of screwed over a little bit. 
How strong is this guy? He's got Spirit Visage. Let's put a blue trinket here. Okay, let's just get this pink ward. Nice. I got the pink ward money. Glad about that. Oh! Nice. That's a dead. Okay, I'm just gonna... Wait, what? I couldn't Sonya's? Oh my god. I really got, like, Nivea stunned when I dropped or something? But it didn't look like I got stunned. I don't know what happened. Whatever. It looks like my team is actually gonna be able to pick up some kills here. Oh my god, I got six deaths. I hate this game so much. It was looking so good. I just had to mess it up with dying. Hate this game, dude. Alright, let's just start getting like Abyssal Scepter soon. I really need that. I think I need to get Abyssal Scepter like a lot sooner than I did, which is like really sad. Okay, maybe my team's gonna like get Baron here? Possibly. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to do it, but Anivia's kind of like... Whoa, okay. Lucian gets hit by the stun. Baron cannot be done anymore. For sure. Oh, Anivia gets slowed down, but... Uh-oh. This is really bad overstay, actually. Mm. Lucian opts for top lane. Farming. Rest of the team goes back to base. Great smite mate. What? Oh my god, Sonya's eyeglass. Okay. <laughs> Good comebacks. Great players in this team. Let's clear all these minions. There we go. Go ahead and hit that. Mm, put a trinket. Ah, oh, they're doing the. Yep, we cannot defend that. It's too late. Okay, let's just get this Raptor. I'm only 200 gold away from the Abyssal Scepter. This game is turning into a really long game, probably way longer than it should be. Oh, I hit him! He flashes, and I get the slow on him, so he's like 100% dead. Nice! Nice. Very nice. Assassination? Complete. Oh, what? Okay, that definitely happened in the wrong order. Uh, so now I have a problem. I don't have any mana. No, are you kidding me right now? Okay, I'm gonna Sonya's before like I take burst damage. Nice. Okay. Are you kidding me? Okay. Grace ends up dying. Fiora is trying to 1v1 the Nocturne successfully. Okay, we're actually gonna be able to end this game off of this. Wait, is Fiora fine? Yeah, she is. Nice. Let's just last at some minions. And let's start hitting this power. I have no mana, so let's hope this is actually going to be the game ending push. It is, because the only one alive is Nocturne. And I don't really think he can do anything about this. Let's get him, let's get him, before he, the, the game ends. Nice. Alright. So anyways, that was my fifth gameplay. Thank God this game didn't last any longer. I swear to God, I would it would have just beca become completely unenjoyable for me if it did. So uh, yeah, that was my first gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, if, if you did like this video, it would be nice to give it a like. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, you can always subscribe to me because I'm always trying to upload a new game daily. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. This has been me, Steve Broxers, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next game.